guys, Mr. Nano again, and I'm here to talk to you about something really amazing. I'm down here in the carnivorous bog at Lori Myers Children's Adventure Garden. And I'm here looking at, well, a carnivore, a carnivorous plant. Now, what does that mean? Well, most plants get the nutrients that they need to grow and grow strong from the soil. But some plants live in soils that don't have all the nutrients they need. And so the only other way for them to get those nutrients is by actually eating bugs. And what I'm sitting next to right here is a bug's worst nightmare. This is the pitcher plant. And it's named because its leaves are shaped like pitchers. Now these are specialized leaves. They've adapted, kind of like the spines on a cactus, except these catch bugs. Now if we take a look at these leaves, we see some really cool things. The lip here on the top produces a nectar that's sweet and it attracts things like bees and flies and they want to come drink from it. As they're trying to drink from the nectar, the inside of the leaf is very, very slippery and what happens is they'll fall down below. It also has hairs that are actually facing downwards which prevent the bug from climbing its way out and it falls into the juices at the bottom of the pitcher leaf. Now what's in those juices? enzymes just like what's in our stomach and it actually starts to digest the bug while it's still alive and something else that's neat is i've often thought if i'm a bee maybe i could just fly my way back up to the top that would make sense right well what scientists have found is there's actually pictures that have clear patches on the back of the leaf and that works like a house of mirrors it confuses the bug and it can't find its way out it really is a bee's worst nightmare the leaf isn't the only amazing thing about the pitcher plant. It also has a very unique and special flower. Check this out. It probably looks different from any flower that you've ever seen before. And what makes this thing interesting is that the flower, just like the leaf, is also a trap. Now what's special about this is the bee has to work its way under one of these flaps to get in there to the sweet nectar inside. Once inside, He's confused and he wanders around looking for a way out. The only way out is to go back under another trap door. And in doing so, he ensures that he gets pollen on his legs and on his back to spread to another pitcher flower. Truly amazing and tricky plant. All right, guys, so make sure that you make it down here to the Rory Myers Children's Adventure Garden at the Dallas Arboretum. Come down to our wetlands area. And not only will you see these cool pitcher plants that I just told you about, but you'll also see carnivorous Venus flytraps, which snap closed over their prey, and sundews with sticky glue-covered tentacles that cover their prey and squeeze them while they're still alive in order to make food for themselves. These are all wetlands natives, so come down to our Texas wetlands and see some for yourself. 